What is the function of the glove that Tatakumi developed? <laughs> it's moving and clenching the fist. What a surprise! This is a glove that assists people who cannot clench their fist due to an illness or injuries. When you press the button once, the glove curls up. And when you press it again, it opens up. We tested its function with a plastic bottle that contained 500 milliliters of water. Oh, <laughs> I'm not putting any force on it, but I can lift it up. The grip strength is about 2 kilograms. Let's find out how it works. It consists of a glove, a switch, and a gas cylinder. The glove has a built-in pneumatic artificial muscle. This pneumatic artificial muscle is made with a rubber tube and covered with fabric. The upper half of the fabric is elastic and the lower half of the fabric is non-elastic. When the switch is pressed, gas from the cylinder enters the tube. The upper part of the fabric stretches and the artificial muscle curls inward. It's powered by two AA batteries and weighs only 500 grams, so it can be worn on a regular basis. We met a person whose life has been improved by it. Yoshiaki Itami is 41 years old. He suffered a cerebral stroke when he was 26, and it left his right side paralyzed. But three months ago, he gained the ability to carry things with his right hand. I couldn't carry things by myself and had pretty much given up on it. The turning point came about one year ago. After seeing the news that a person with an injured cervical spine was able to write again with these gloves, Itami immediately got a hold of it. He then began working out daily. After six months of rehabilitation, he was able to lift his right arm. Itami had always been good at sports, and now he is able to play baseball with his father again. Got it? His current wish is to have more people know about and benefit from the Takumi's glove. There are probably a lot of people who've given up hope. I really think this is worth a try. Development started in 2009 when Professor Toshiro Noritsugu of Okayama University, who had been studying artificial muscles, approached the company and proposed jointly developing the glove. The Takumi was appointed group leader and immediately started work on a prototype, but he hit a major obstacle. The compressor that sent air to the artificial muscle was too bulky to be worn. He immediately worked on reducing the compressor's weight, but it had its limits. He then tried to reduce the weight by replacing the compressor with a compressed air cylinder. However, the amount of air in it was only enough for a few times. I tried making different prototypes and searched for a new solution. I believed there was a way. After much trial and error, the Takumi came across a carbon dioxide cylinder. Carbon dioxide liquefies when compressed, so a large amount can be packed in a small cylinder. With just one cylinder, it can perform the gripping movement 100 times. This was how he succeeded in creating a simple, easy-to-use glove that provides gripping assistance and weighs only 500 grams. He is now developing a walking assistance device that utilizes the same technology. 
I love to make people happy and also to surprise them. I think this is what motivates me to develop new things. Even when the development process gets tough, I always find a way to enjoy it. This is a model of a skeletal leg that's being operated with artificial muscles. The technologies behind it are being developed at Okayama University. The translucent tubes on the calf are